accountable for this court presided over. We need to make the Israel Palestine issue an election issue. Because whether we like it or not, the Israel Palestine issue affects each one of us here. It affects each and every Canadian. And this will become more evident when our government jumps to support Israel when Israel attacks um, Iran as a tension planning. The reality is that, is that our political leaders and candidates often trip over themselves over each other and they scramble to show how strongly they support Israel. So long as this continues, Israel will continue its campaign of annihilation against the people of Palestine. It will continue to colonize Palestine and dehumanize this indigenous people. It will continue to lie to the world, knowing that no matter what it does, to the Palestinians, will not, there will not be any significant consequences to it. I dream of day when Zionist leaders and their supporters will be prosecuted for their war crimes and crimes against humanity. That day will not come, however, if we continue to allow our leaders to defend and support Zionism, to defend and support Israel as it continues to annihilate the people of Palestine. There are signs of hope. People of conscience around the world are beginning to pay attention. They are beginning to pull the wool off their eyes. They are beginning to see Zionism for what it is a crime against humanity. The campaign of boycott, boycott by Western extensions is gaining momentum. I think this campaign will succeed in making Israel realize that there is a price to its crime. Here in Canada, in addition to boycotting Israel, we need to make Canada's, Canada's position on Israel's outside and election issue. We need to start holding our, our leaders who have support for Zionism for Israel. We need to hold them accountable to that. And we need to let them know that they do not see for us.